Good afternoon to you. Welcome to business. The IMF says Sub-Saharan Africa is seeing a modest pickup in economic growth from a rise of 2.8% in 2017 to 3.4% in 2018. Addressing a press conference in Washington, D.C. in the U.S. at the just-ended annual spring meeting, African Department Director Abebe Amemo Selassie said that growth is helped by external conditions, including stronger global growth, higher commodity prices, and favorable financing conditions. He also highlighted growing trade within Africa as a positive force, with intra-Africa trade growing from below 10% to almost 20% of total regional trading. Much of what Africa trades with each other tends to be more processed, more manufacturing type goods, exactly the kind of more diversified exports that our countries are seeking. So we think that, you know, uh, the, the CFTA, when fully implemented and when, uh, you know, if uh, coupled with uh, reforms to non-tariff barriers, facilitating infrastructure uh, to allow goods to move with each other, should, uh, should facilitate and encourage um, help allow connecting markets and you know deepen and uh, expand uh, the markets in which African firms uh, can trade. So we strongly welcome it. In terms of what's needed really to, to, to support uh, the young people in the region, really is uh, robust economies that are able to create the hundreds of thousands of jobs that each country needs every year. Uh, so I think it's with robust private sector uh, economic growth uh, that we will be able to find um, we will be able to uh, we will be able to uh, create jobs and opportunities for the young and uh, you know this circles back to some of the policies that we were talking about earlier uh, making sure that uh, there is an active process of identifying the constraints to to investment in areas removing distortions uh, addressing competitiveness issues where they arise where they arise really should not be underestimated in terms of how important they are to facilitate private investment and another side of the equation, of course, is for, for governments to, to provide uh, quality education uh, at all levels, um, to be able to have a workforce that is uh, ready for the jobs that are going to be created. Now, directors of UT, Capital and Unibank may struggle to get another job in the banking sector. This is because the Bank of Ghana is currently enforcing a new set of governance rules that could affect directors of these defunct banks. Let's hear more from Head of Banking Supervision of the Bank of Ghana, Osei Jesse. As we speak, we haven't received any application from any bank that somebody is being employed. And even if you have received an application for a bank, what it means is that we'll be working on that. And I'm saying that we have a very stringent, fit and proper testing procedures. Looking at one, your qualification, two, your experience, three, moral and integrity issues are all brought to bear in conducting our fit and proper testing procedures. So if we test you for all these things, together with some other ones, and you are fit and proper, that is it. But from your, from your checklist, it's clear that George Jaffe, if he was a former director of UT Bank, it doesn't look like for the next five years I can still hold another position in another bank as a board member, as a director, or even as a shareholder. You're talking about George Jaffe? Being a former director, being a former director of UT Bank. Being a former director of UT Bank. Being a former director of UT Bank. Being a former former director of UT Bank. Yes, so we'll trigger our fit and proper testing procedures. And I will not qualify for that one. If you don't qualify, pay our fit and proper testing procedures, you don't qualify. But it's clear that looking at what has happened in the supervisory rule, it is clear that there are serious red flags on these individuals. And it's clear they can't hold positions again. Saying, George, you are here as a person, that if I supervise over all these things, there are questions about my sense of judgment. Yeah, if, if, if there are questions about your sense of judgment, then there are questions, that's it. And we need, to, we need to look at that under the fit and proper testing procedures we have put in place. That is it. And that's all in business for now. More business on the marketplace. Have a good afternoon.